Well, I love the film. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And nobody warned me to bring a box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely wow. beautiful. Thank you. And I first wanted to ask you about the theme, the music will save your life. It's a beautiful theme woven through the film. And is it true for you as well? It's very true for me. Like music is is everything to me. I always say a, a room without music has no personality and I can't find my way without it through each day. Like I need music to do that. And can that be true for everyone? Can music save all of us? I think it does, even when it's unconsciously so. Like, think about it. No matter where we go, what program it is, music is a part of it in some form. Absolutely. Now, Aretha did not always have an easy journey, and neither no. have you. Um, is there a depth of pain that translates into that depth of performance on screen? Definitely. And how did you, how do you harness that? Definitely. Um, I mean, I, I just allowed it. You know what I mean? And that's a part of, I think, of why she chose me to do this. And it didn't hit me until while filming and being up in the, in the midst of those moments. And it's like, wow, I don't think I would have been able to tell her story um, with so much depth and honesty without my own life triumphs, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's like almost kind of like telling her story through my pain in, this, in a way, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. That seems like that could be kind of dangerous too, to yeah. open yourself up. It, it, as I say, it costs, yes. All right, absolutely. Well, Jennifer, tell us about the discipline it took to study and become a on screen. Whew, it was a process. I started piano first, which was at this point, I don't know, and I still do it. Um, I started maybe eight months before we started filming even, and then it's a whole team. So I had uh, a piano teacher, I had a dialect coach, an acting coach, a movement coach, all in one. And so on set, it's like 10 people talking to you at one time, you know, but yeah. <laughs> and the director. I have to say the greatest compliment is that I forgot I was watching you. Thank you. I forgot. Yeah. You truly transform into her. Wow. And tell me about um, this, this film becoming a full circle for you. Mm. Um, didn't you audition with her song on Idol? Yes, I said, they said, what are you going to sing? What's your name? I said, Jennifer Hudson, what are you going to sing? Share Your Love With Me by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> and now, almost 20 years later, here I am. I said, it's only a story God could write because you would have thought that I planned it. And it's like, who could, who would have known? That's right. Tell me about this spiritual connection that you and Aretha had. I know you knew one another, had a friendship. Yes. Um, talk about that friendship. What, was there a spiritual connection? I think so. I think it's like in our faith. You know, we both are deeply rooted in the church, born and raised. May, I, I, I don't know if that's, I think she saw far more than I did, you know, to say like, wow, Jennifer. Because I didn't, it's a lot of things I didn't pick up on until while filming, outside of singing and acting. And, um, but that, what I mean by that, like, of our stories resonating to a certain point, um, to each other's, in a lot of ways, like even the church saints. I'm like, this feels like church. I don't know the difference. You can't script that. You can't recreate it, and you really can't teach it. So it's like, roll the camera, and we're just going to have church. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's right. Were there any parts of her story that surprised you that you didn't know yet? I didn't know she had eight albums before she got her big hits. And she said, I want hits, you know? Um, and just to see the drive that she had and the determination, but she knew what she had in her mm -hmm. to be able to do everything that she did, you know, which is timeless. Um, also, I didn't realize that her and Dr. King was so close and how much she was a part of the civil rights era. Yeah, same. Yeah. same. I was very surprised. So thank you for educating us thank you. on that part of her story. Okay, a couple quick rapid fire questions just for okay, fun. So let's we see. get to know you. These are just for Jennifer. Okay, what is your cozy, happy place? What's my cozy, happy place? Oh my God, anywhere near a fireplace with my cats. There you go. <laughs> What's your favorite framed thing in your home? Framed? Framed. A picture of my son, of course, or my mom. Yes. Yes. What's one daily routine or habit that you stick to? Listening to music every day. And what's your most memorable birthday? 
when I say for Aretha Franklin on my 30th birthday. <laughs> there we go. And last one is what fashion trend did you jump on? Fashion trend that I, <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. I guess um, 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 owning your own originality. I think that's a fashion trend. Absolutely. I hope that counts. Yes, absolutely it does. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for this film. Thank and you. for giving it so much that you did. Thank you. I truly hope that you win all the awards. Thank you so much. And eventually have the EGOT, but it'll be wow. an EGOOT because it'll be two Oscars <laughs> in there, right? How will we so Oh, Lord. Thank <laughs> you. EGOOT. I've never heard that. <laughs> made that up on my own <laughs> thank well, you thank you so much for uh, for just this role in this film and um, wow and and telling her story in the way that you did thank you I appreciate that yeah. so much so much thank you